Okay, hello anyone who will be watching now later on on YouTube. Helene here along with... Drakir! And did I mess up something still again with all of this? Game capture, any full screen. Come on. Is it not working again? Okay, well we know the backup on that. So once this lets go of my mouse... Come on. Uh, first, I I do not get why some of these old games just absolutely refuse to let go of your mouse. Come on. Probably due to back in that day, window screen was not a thing. Yeah, multi screen was not a thing. Yeah, but okay, we used that this well. last time. We just up this all the way to the top. Well, not up to the top, but. Okay, one lower. And there we go. Maybe I should stick with this for uh, yeah for the future that I capture my screen that I capture my display instead of the game. That should well avoid any stupidity like, like this happening again, or that it just doesn't want to capture the game. Uh, yeah, I think I'll I'll do that in the future. But anyways, welcome back to Giant Sydney Kabuto for the third time. And yeah, last time we finished up with the Macarians uh, campaign and started with Delphi's. And uh, yeah, I believe. Let's see. Yeah, this is this is a simple one. Uh, yeah, the Reaper's key. Find the enemy Reaper's key and steal it. This is a yeah, basically another in between bit, but with a bit more combat to it. Uh, yeah, just to remind. Oh, <laughs> yeah, you. You can glitch the camera into the wall at times. Yeah. Oh, yeah, as a reminder, Delphi is a lot more agile than the Macarians. Though her weapon selection is more limited. But to, to, com to combat that, she has spells. Yeah, there's nothing quite more forceful than the well, in a way. Yeah. Okay, we have absolutely no reason to go into there, which is basically a murder pit. And okay, snow. Uh, this is where the sniper bow would come in handy, and I'm pretty sure that they will have that in here. Yep. So let's just get out of this quick then before they start hammering us with splash damage and like that. Oh. Okay, I was not expecting flyers so soon again. And we... They don't have this special bow here. Which means we're stuck with this. Okay, yeah. <laughs> How did you two come out of the picking pit? Way it helps heal us, and we might actually die here. Where is that? There he is. Yeah, flying enemies are going to be somewhat of a constant nuisance now again, especially when you see how little health we have left after that. I'm not sure what you did to him against the wall. Ah, yeah, Sam sites. Uh, yeah, those will those will track Delphi as well. Okay, okay we quickly need to kill that one before he takes to the skies. And now we have to worry about. Oh, <laughs> I s I thought I saw s something around that Reaper, but that. <laughs> there was a swarm of piranhas around his ass. So, uh, yeah. Luckily, this one is short. I really hate when you get through a war like that. It makes me more worry get a sort of big uh, out of something. Like, you follow the map and die and get a thing on you. Okay, this time. 
obviously... Isn't this also a homing bow? I think it is, yeah. Okay, let's get a look for the flyers and take them out first. Okay, at least they're still idiots. Oh. One of the idiots is on the move. I probably missed. Okay, he actually still hurts. Okay. Probably would have been better if I <laughs> lead those shots, but okay. Oh, but there's a third of you. Okay, got that one with the splash damage. Okay, we need to quickly get rid of that before more of them spawn. Oh, no. oh here it is. See? Oh. Okay. <laughs> we literally ran, walked right between those. Have you both been wrecked by someone only all with a bow? And a one. And bow uh, only well, They are magic bows. True. Yeah. How did that one miss? Uh, quick move. Come on! Yeah, as you can see, you know, Delphi may be powerful, but she isn't a one. Well, she's a one-woman army, but only if you <laughs> play things smart with her. And we haven't really yeah. been playing it smart. She's not exactly the tank as well. Okay, this time let's just deal with these two idiots in here, since they seem hell bent on getting out. Okay. Okay, my shots were going straight down there <laughs> for some reason. Uh, yes, it is a bit of a waste to grab those, but they'll be they'll despawn anyways. We have that one over there, and one of them is already annoyed with us. Okay, one gone. There is the other one. <laughs> okay, that one almost got us. Oh, oh they've been hitting each other. <laughs> that saves us some work, at least. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> if I jumped away there, the other one would have locked on on us. Okay. <laughs> Let's just get some distance then and work on getting rid of these things. Because with that barracks underneath us, just is going to keep hammering us. And that's too far for the normal shots to render. Oh. <laughs> he just blew up their own barracks. Uh. Okay. Uh, let's keep that one and see if we can use this one to well send the herds okay and with that one oh hello where did you come from hmm. 
Uh, maybe there was a last one. Yep. Yeah, the, the, the piranhas are spawning around them, but they aren't hurting them. Uh, I've been... Tr I tried to use this one here earlier, but it didn't want to work, apparently. Let's, let's take that one, because that one is, of course, very strong. Uh, I'm trying... Oh, do I need to cast it at some distance away, or can I just not spawn it up here? Okay. Maybe that will hit them down there. Mm, yes, it does. And apparently that also set the elevator in on fire. Okay. Not the best of uh, <laughs> construction material. Now, for you. No. Another one. Oh, come on! <laughs> uh. Yeah. They're done playing nice with us. Let's hope that this is the last attempt that we need for this. Okay, out again. Let's... I don't think these fly guys actually spawn from the barracks, so that must mean that there was a fourth somewhere in there. Ah, here comes one of them. Might as well see if this one does enough. Okay, that just fires one for each, not uh, all of them at one. <laughs> Still, I bet I think he's been blowing himself up with how much damage, or was that? Or I think this one locked onto him earlier as well. Okay, and for some reason, they <laughs> downstairs they haven't been aggroed yet, even though that guy is you know, now, now they've been aggroed. Still not gone. Come on, heal up. Oh, flyer. Okay, so I can't really lead the shots because I need to keep them in sight. Are they hitting their own barracks again? Yes, they are. They're and there it blew up. <laughs> Let's see if Enemy these can get you? close enough. Oh, oh, what? Why the... Oh, come on. Just for standing up a little bit. Okay. That one, take that one. We used up all of the health in the pool there already. This time we stay on this side. Take care of these. And then we go down to the water, so where we can heal up. Wait. Weren't there more of them last time, or are they all... Over here. <laughs> Just look at how desperate they were to get at us. Uh. Actually, we can just... Wait, fuck them. Uh, hold it. Wait! You've never driven one of these before. Jump on. Yeah, we'll drive. 
So, one more time. This is the break, and this is the throttle. Okay, you can drive from here. I have a lot to think about right now. <laughs> Idiot. The Reaper Ski Escape. Break through ice walls in order to escape the enemy base on your stolen Reaper Ski. Use rocket pickups to break ice walls, or use turbo pickups to ram your Reaper Ski through them. I expected Reaper Ski to be on the air. And, like, we didn't even make it around the fucking corner. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, this uh, this is going to be a gameplay for a level or two, three. Oh dear. Not that one. Uh, let's see which of these. Uh, yeah, this is basically Delphi's vehicle. Also, we can also get this in the bases later, but for now. We need to break out. Uh, yeah, the turbo wor works on the same charger. And... Yeah. <laughs> but in this case, they are limited in the amount that we can have. We can only have five at a time. We need to pick up those packs to get them. We can ignore enemies because all we need to care about now is getting out. barracks up there, but again, all we care about is just getting out. Just the timing right, not like that. And yeah, now they are, now they are, yeah, picking up that we're going somewhere. Not that it matters much now, because there's the base, or at least there would be the base <laughs> if we hadn't raised, loaded in. Blind man's volcano, named 300 years ago by the famed blind seer, Nexus. But there is no volcano. Well, what did you expect? The poor man was blind. Look, how are we going to find my mother's palace? I have friends who are in danger. Patience, my child, for I have a plan. But first, you must clear these channel islands of any reaper guards. Pre-raise warm up, clear the area of all Reaper Gods. Basically, just kill them all. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, hello there. And goodbye there. Yeah, this is a simple. And that is. Well, look at the look at the environment. Yeah. She's wearing the worst possible outfit for this climate. It's true, but uh, the Reapers are aquatics, which is aquatic, which would basically presume that they are cold-blooded, or at least they adapt to the temperature. Yeah, true. There are some fishes with special blood that they can't freeze. Yeah. Let's see, there's about yeah. ten of them over there. Some fishes we avoid the uh, water that are cool, too cold, of course. Yeah, they would actually they literally freeze from too cold water. Let's see, any goodies? No. Okay, so we just rush in and kill. Okay, alright. Uh, yeah, when they don't have... A, oh, yes, a lot more. When they don't have... A, yeah, the environmental advantage, Delphi will still kick their ass. It doesn't mean that she is immortal again, though. 
probably should have gotten rid of that smarty spell. But at least here we can cheat by just jumping into the water. And also I think that uh, the lip flaps thing with Delphi might be a glitch, but I don't, because I don't remember that, but my memory might be failing me. So maybe somewhere in the patches, uh, they sort of messed up Delphi's speak, uh, yeah, speaking animations. Uh, yeah, it, it might just as well be that, uh, yeah, my memory is off. Okay, these mines make for imp decent improvised mi hand grenades. Of course, they make for decent improvised mines. They're mines. We do have to be careful with Delphi's turbo at times, though, because she can just bounce off like that. Oop, hello there. Woo. Did that somehow miss? Another one in viewing there. And that's that. Okay, they're cleared. Now, what are this plan? Just wait. Why? Halt yes, perfect. Halt! Halt and day! Halt! 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 I can't believe what you just did. All under control, my child. <laughs> oh, mercy, mercy! What is to be done with us? You shall be entered into the great jet ski races. Take them away. And what if we win these races? You shall be entered into the final race at the secret palace. And if you win that one, you shall have the honor of being sacrificed to Kabuto. Oh, no, no, we're gonna die. Oh, mercy. Yan, stop it. I am master of voices, no. <sighs> uh, <laughs> Yan is such a fucking idiot. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is what we'll be doing for a bit. The Reaper Ski Races. Wait, for, um, he made a boost voice. Yes, uh, ba basically a generic, uh, somewhat racist <laughs> Indian voice, yeah. Yeah, there was just multiple voices, and it was direct. I think now, if that character is voice actor by the... I don't know if the actor play, but he's in Fleet Academy, and bloody heck is a walking, uh, the sound effect guy. Uh, we'll have to check the credits then. Uh, again, for some reason, they didn't credit the, each voice actor to their characters. But you, if you know the name of that voice actor, you could look up in IMDb, uh, International Movie uh, Database, if he has this game under his belt there or not. But I don't know his name. I don't know that. But I thought it was edited in the movie, and I got to know that. Nope, that was all the song he could do himself. Okay, you'll have to show. You'll have to send me a bit of yeah uh, on that. Uh, for now, though, Reaper Ski Race One. I, if I, my memory is correct, there will be three of these. Yeah, Rin Reaper Ski Race to advance to the next stage. You must pass through the gates along the race course. If you miss three gates, you lose the race. Use pickups to get an advantage over your competitors. And I, I have to say, I like the designs of these things. And yeah, the, these races are very easy, but rather dull because of that. Because you saw how quickly we overtook those idiots. 
We actually have a bit of a use for the <laughs> look back uh, key now. Yeah, yeah, this reverse you know, view key here with the F key. Okay, where the hell did you come from? Yeah, prob There's probably rubber banding going on. Like if we're in the lead and they get a speed boost or such. See? Yeah, one round. I think it's three laps each, which is basically the, the racing standards. I'll have to see where that got, that one came from. Yeah, it didn't help too much because of that bounce. <laughs> but yeah, I've personally never really liked these missions. Since, well, they don't really add anything, but they, they give a gameplay difference, but they you can go through them so easily, unless you're really screwing up, that it just gets boring. Yeah. Uh, personally, I think the... The, the farther into the game you get, the lower the quality gets. Yeah. And yeah, those things are physical, so you can just bounce off of them as well. You're going to have to speak up a bit again. You're away from the mic again. Yeah, I was far away from it. I have a lot of video games. And I'm going to speak to it. Okay. And you have to do it to get through the main game. So yeah. Yeah, you stuff like a... this is better off being left as optional, or if you do put it in as required, do it as a short thing. Yeah, but here was the case of... Here was a struggle to chop the down fish and move it in. And you're probably speaking to challenge. I think... Are you talking about Sonic Adventure? No, no, that's a new era. Can you repeat the name? Altar. I can't say I've heard of it, I think. Uh, wait. You, tell me you're not taking heard of the game in your Pokemon, huh? Oh, that near N I. Like a. <laughs> fun fact uh, that word means kidney in Dutch. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> I played the three tool that was the before me of the Pokemon. Yeah. I've heard plenty of that. I have. I own the game on Steam, but of course uh, it's on the massive to-do list. And wait. It, okay, we need. That was four rounds, I think. And yeah, straight into the next race. That animation looked awkward. When she moved her arm. Yeah, each of these are going to get more complicated, but they aren't really dangerous. Or, or they get they get tougher, but not really hard, to put it that way. And yeah, of course, we're going to face more and more of these idiots as well. Oh, no, they oh yeah, one. I mean, it's a lot of fun with all my old fans. Yes, what about I did really wrong, just a fishing mini-press, but harder than the boss fight. 
Oh, got one. Just make sure you look down. If you have a big wound game that's harder than a boss fight, then you may have your wound draw up at the game. Yeah. Well, at least this gives us a bit of time to talk about things like this. Yep. But like our dead guy will have to, uh, <laughs> will have time to catch up now. I haven't shown it to you yet, I think, but uh, I work. I did a bit of work with paint or not, on uh, the intro, on the image I use for my pre-screen, my on the BRB screen. Uh, uh, yeah, after this I'll show it to you. I won't use it yet for this let's play, but I will use it in the next one. Or actually, I could probably use it Saturday. Uh, if we don't continue this game with that. Because we don't have to do a different game that, that would be shorter for Saturday. We could just continue with the main game as well. Yeah. Depending on how much you have left at the end of the game. Like a longer main game may need a separate game. Okay, the, there is definitely rubber banding going on if two of them are still on my ass now. They, they don't get those boosts, or those weapons. No, so I, I am a bit curious of how this would be in multiplayer. Yeah? Like, the, the races with this. I don't think you actually can do this in multiplayer. Maybe, <laughs> maybe one fan might have modded that in, but I, as far as I know, uh, people aren't extremely fond of these races. No people are not fond of racing minigames. Yeah, at least the environment is nice enough to look at if you ask me for the time. Uh, can you repeat that? Uh, 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 away again. Even popular nowadays. Uh, racing games are still decently popular to my knowledge. You have your forces. Uh, Need for Speed somehow is still not dead. Even though after Carbon I pretty much fell off the wagon with that series. I'm surprised for... Yeah, this is just the popular, but compared to all the games, no one talks about them. Yeah, there isn't really too much to talk about with racing games. It's just, if the, it's just, yeah, all that really matters with them is if the graphics look good and if the mechanics work. Anything else, really, yeah. story and such, that's, uh, yeah, that, that's basically an extra piece of sauce with your fish. Yeah. So in other words, if many people did talk about racing and how awesome the commotions and all that, we can put them and all that, and all that, quiet. Yeah. Which makes me wonder if it's just a one of those that no one cares about anymore. Yeah, it's not that nobody, but it's it's fallen out of the mainstream, basically. Yeah. I can understand. Mm, there we go. And this should be the last one. And uh, now I realize how she is sitting with the damn thing. Yeah, it's not really sitting, it's more laying. It, this thing, basically, these things are water motorbikes. With uh, yeah, the Reaper guards having like low riders or something, well, they're just hogs as people would call them. Whilst whilst Delphi is basically driving a sports motor. Yeah. And 
There isn't really a countdown or anything with this as well. Uh, yeah, now the, now the most annoying part is going... Oh, he uh, hello. It's just maneuvering with all of these jackasses on our tail. Okay, but how do you think you want to form a, like, train build? Uh, they are similar. Uh, it's... Okay, no, no gate in here, so we can use that slope, that, yeah, that slope for shortcuts. Uh, yeah, with this one, there's the most distance between the gates. There's also more routes between each. That stuff to the right is just basically wasted space. I'm not going for that one, just going straight for this. And there's the, the finish line already, again. But yeah, they're counting this. <clears throat> they're counting this, you know, the blades on the top. There's a rocket trooper over there who's taking pot shots. I heard a sniper. Oh, there, there's one in the water there. I heard another. Yeah, they, they, they really don't want us to win. Though you, you think that at least one of these guys would recognize, oh shit, that's the queen's daughter. Yeah. Uh, unless, uh, well, yeah, the cutscenes grow less with how f the further you get in the game as well. So it might be that uh, Sappho disowned her or something, but it's just never said or anything. You mean like uh, there's been uh, a few cutscenes, right? Yeah. Yeah. Basically, all we know is that Delphi wants to uh, wants to kill her mother, but we don't. We never see her reaction to it or anything. I see. Where did you come from? I know where you go. Last place. That was some serious Ow. rubber banding on that guy. Sniper is still there. Well, yeah, anyway, if we were to get on dry land with this thing, it would seriously slow us down. So we, that is why we need, uh, that's why we need the boosts for those shortcuts. If I can pick them up. Okay, then, uh, then I'll, I understand why you call them read for speed down. It's a jet ski, basically, only with well, Reaper stuck to the front of it. I hear one of them close. Yep, there they are. Uh, for anyone curious, by the way, the second missiles here, those are lock-on missiles. So basically, what we have here are our green shells and our red shells. And here we have a volunteer. What route do they take there? Though I wouldn't be surprised at all, at all if these guys are skipping gates to basically cheat and try and get us from reaching the finals. Though. Let's not bump the wall over there this time and actually grab these boosts. Okay. Uh, yeah, back to what I was saying earlier. 
uh, I've updated my you know, the image that I was using to be well less directly copied from the internet. It's not too much work that was put into it, more like a stroke of luck. a lucky stroke with the uh, fill option <laughs> from paint. Where did... He gets in front of me now. And done. <laughs> if I, and we're done with that. Me, look! The main Reaper fleet! If you want to seriously weaken your mother's power, this is the place to target. Quick, let's get rid of our friend here and build a base. Then we'll be ready for an attack. Um. Yeah, all of that oh, was yeah. to find this place. Okay, let's take a moment and analyze what just happened. They were all able to organize a plan. Literally behind the enemy's heads. <laughs> yeah. They are not the smartest. And speaking of smart, we need smarties, vimpsels, build a base, destroy Sanfo's fleet, which is basically just the same as a normal uh, barracks. And, well, we also have an, an actual barracks to destroy with the tornado spell. And for the rest, it's just the same as usual. But the big difference here is that we are in a lot bigger of a map here. And to even get Smarties, we'll have to travel quite a bit further. I don't know if I remember all of the uh, Smarty villages in this place. But I know that the closest one is all the way over here. And we have a little spectator. There we go. Oh. And yeah, there's the... Here is the... Oh wait, where are their host houses? <laughs> Did their houses not spawn in? There's a, I'm pretty sure there's supposed to be buildings there. Give me that. Oh. Oh, oh. Yeah. Okay. I, I was thinking of this place then. That's just extras. Okay. <laughs> well, we know where to find the next tree then. Oh, yeah. For now, though, it is going to take a bit of work just to get these smarties and get the food. Because I don't actually remember where the freaking vimps are in this map. Wait, they want to we want food or heat? Heat. Alright. Okay. Uh, You're a persistent we'll little bastard. Then we'll be we'll, we'll, we'll Hmm? So do you get uh, souls from uh, enemies as well? Yeah. Alright. Uh, like right there. Yeah, then we shouldn't be too much of a worry. Oh, there they are. Now it, it makes sense that the smarties. <laughs> Build their houses along the migration paths of these things. Uh, yeah, each of these gives one soul, so it does make more sense for us to just wipe out the entire herd. Yeah, because you see, only now is the. Okay, so they do give multiple bits of soul, oddly enough. But yeah, that, it took the entire herd still to fill up the bar. It is so wasteful. You kill them for the souls, but you do nothing to the meat. 
Yeah, yeah that, that is a waste. Um, on the one hand, I am, and on the other hand, I am not curious of how Vimp would taste. That, that's really easy. You have to fight your own farm, and you know how it is. Okay, first of all, workshop, which is required for literally everything else. But hey, I saw that they're not even for saying that. <laughs> One of the good things on this map, though, is that, well, because of its size, it also takes quite a while. For the enemy to arrive. Yeah. Is it a double sword? Hello, so that's where more of them are. And I spy. I saw three over there. Hello. So three, five, six. We have number seven. That means that there's somewhere. There's one more smarty. Unless. Okay, I can't see them all now. That reminds me of something. What then? Uh, just to wonder what her wing tastes like. What if they taste like Hippo? Uh, hippo is one of the things that I do not want to try <laughs> at any like, point. Actually, you'd be surprised. We actually have to... Restrict any outlaw in some African countries at the hunting of Hippo due to how tasty it is. <laughs> okay. It almost even became a single food in America. As it almost replaced bacon. Okay, that, that, that sounds so far fetched that it. that it. you'll have to, you'll have to provide some proof of that. Uh. From YouTube. Yeah, S Sam well, Sykes. It's apparently... It was like described like uh, some mix between pork and beef or something. And when you think about it, hip food are massive. Yeah, you would get a lot of food from that. Yeah, and they are and rather blubbery. Yeah, so they have a, a lot of muscles and fat. But that would probably work your progress against humans. Or in the past, <laughs> humans likely hunger them a lot. <laughs> Those things trying to swim, or, well, not really trying, but... Uh, never mind. I'll uh, make that a trying. I, I don't think I've ever seen those things drown. I don't think you got drowned. I didn't see any. I I didn't see any piranhas at its feet, though. So oh, that's it, weird. Maybe we're not we were not close enough to see the piranhas. Yeah. Then again, we've seen them from quite a distance in some occasions. True. Hmm. Yeah. Maybe did drown them. <laughs> yeah. It like it it uh, would pull down almost. That's all of our ammo, which means sushi time. Uh, oh. you know, you hit them with the sword so hard that they explode. Oh, hello. There's the cousins. Okay, <laughs> that would just be absolutely terrifying to see Delphi coming at you with his fucking sword. Oh, missed me. But I'm not going to miss you. Okay, I didn't miss, but I didn't kill him. <laughs> you did kill him a few times. <laughs> yeah, but not on the first hit. <laughs> okay. That should do for now. Get work on the shop. I was trying to turn the screen with the mouse there. And yeah, it, since we're a lot closer to the water, you can see that in the base screen, it basically shows you the map without the water. That would... 
really practical uh, in this case. Okay, get work on the walls. That food actually should last us a bit. Uh, yeah, because Delphi is alone, she can carry a lot more food as well, I'm pretty sure. On that. So it's, it's probably good idea to keep uh, it being filled up all the time. Yeah, just trying to take a peek for any new e enemies incoming. And they're done, so let's move on immediately to the bigger shop. Yeah, I've only now just really noticed that you can occasionally hear a vimp uh, cry in the background. Probably the sound will be a pair of truck in a furnace. It's... There's no real... There's not too much need for the Smarty Graph spell, so let's take the cloak so we can bail out if we ever need to. Okay, shield generator, oh. and they are starting to run low. I think I now get why they're called sea reapers. If they can hover stones, then it makes sense. Yep. It's not them just to mean to sound scary. Like, there is an actual reason behind it. Okay, I was not expecting they to get a headshot on them. Uh, Oh. I thought that Mingo was an arrow stuck to where you blow up his head. <laughs> yeah. No, wait. Let's take a look at how big the damn thing is. Good gods! <laughs> oh, hello there. Well, I guess we know what to use the new guys to uh, take a vaccine. Oh, okay. Now they're, send they're starting to send in bigger squads already. have completely missed. How did you get behind me? <laughs> okay, that extra shot was not needed. I blew his head off there. Okay, healed. For some reason, my nose is really itchy today. Well, it scratched them. memory serves me, there is a SAM site on the other side of that island. Okay. Uh, yeah, since Delphi uses souls, it's also a lot easier to fill up things. Split up the work. I don't think we actually need any more smarties than this. And well, this game came out before achievement, so the only reason I'd get, I'd want to get uh, all ten of them would be for bragging rights. Okay. Further away than I remembered, but still at the same site. Didn't I tell you guys to get to working on the command center? Oh. It requires a minimum of three. It's not groundbreaking what they're doing with this, but it, it's still nice. It's a lot of you. Uh, excuse me, we have no interest in what you're selling. 
we do have interest in your soul, though. Okay, here we are. Real talk. Do you have something against door salesmen? Uh, not really, but door salesmen aren't really a much of a thing over here, actually. And that is somewhat not what I feared. Though they are recharging and coming in again. They used to be a thing, but they are being dying out a lot. But I was thinking some that try for some reason. Okay, now it's finished. All of you actually just split it up. I don't know if people recommend to not let in any door face when sand fell. Yeah. It's enough that probably one or two uh, rotten people use the internet as a plumber. Yeah, people are just a lot less trusting as well these days. Because. <laughs> It's a bit debatable if it's just that uh, that sort of violent thing happens more, or if it's just that news of it spreads better than it did in the olden days before the internet. Probably spreads better. And people uh, will have grown up with about, uh, about the warnings and as well seen on TV shows. I really see. made people probably a bit more paranoid. And when you think about it, door salesmanship is very much not practical to begin with. Yeah, well, you can just as easily sell your stuff on the internet, like eBay or something. Yeah, either internet or a magazine. Can't say I've heard of that one before. Are you telling me you do get magazine from uh, your local food store or yeah, you'll, you'll have to send me a link on whatever that is because I don't re recognize the name at all. Or maybe it might be how you're saying it. Magazine. Paper. Oh. <laughs> I thought you were talking about like a company or something. <laughs> okay, we need to retreat a bit. I was saying that a basically a few pieces to use the paper. It's more effective to have a man who through the door to sell things. Yeah. Just um, have him go and deliver the mail and walk away because of the damn door. Uh, yeah, that still happens here. Uh, though Same not. Here. I think you need to order the magazine actually. Yeah. Some magazines you still have delivered. Some from the food store and some uh, specific uh, stores, but some you need to uh, order yourself. However, it doesn't remind me of what Tom who was witness. This was stuck in the dorm room. Oh, okay, that was a lucky shot. Right. Right. Uh, what game will Warcraft? There's not really someone called me, and it was before I stopped. There was before I stopped answering unknown uh, numbers. So I answered, and I put to my talk in the talking. They had to talk to him and ask him, wait, are you for your voice witness? And he started to go into the room, and he said, uh, yes. And from there, I just hung up. <laughs> yeah, I can't blame you. Uh... I just love that I, have, I tricked him to ask, uh, to answer uh, what he was from Jehovah's Witness. They just click. <laughs> yeah, that is basically the easiest answer to get rid of the, those people. Uh, I yeah, see they're sticking I, up. But when I told my friends, they were surprised and only few of them had heard about it. And they were really shocked that Jehovah's had gone too far. To harass people on phone before some of them they hit calling, even if they had said no. And that is how you deal with that. Yeah, uh, as as if Delphi isn't terrifying enough on the normal speeds. Well, yeah. 
Yeah, I can't really say what material Delphi sword is made out of. Or rather, more of what type it is. Or... Yeah, it's a scimitar. I don't think it's scimitar, it's too top heavy. Scimitar is supposed to be more long and slender and curved, of course, but not that top heavy. And it's not a falcon for. Falcon is a straight one edged heavy sword, it's not curved. Okay. Could be somewhere in between then. And there we go, already. The party house. So now we That's just. We could just grab this the spell now. Oh dear. Uh, well, once they've finished building, that is. See. Portal. One of you schmucks. Put the portal down. It is hard. It's it is a bit hard to see this thing out on the water that Delphi's bases tend to be filled with. What the? Uh, yeah, this is. This here is basically. The gyro pads for the max. Uh, did I not see a small thief grow out of a ground and grab a uh, mug? Uh, no, it, it's basic. That's basically them uh, bolting forwards from you, from where you picked them up. Uh, right. It just looks like it grew out from the ground. <laughs> ah. I don't know if there's any actual optimal positions to put these things. Come on. But yeah, this one should keep sight on both sides here. And we get an instant demonstration of how good they work. So good position. Uh, yeah, let's put down a few more just in case. I have no idea where the flyers might come from. Wait. I think I have a name come up in my head, but I'm still not sure if that's right, but we have to double check. That might be a Shamtia? Can't say I've heard of it. Yeah, I I'm trying to remember to make sure my brain is not tricking myself. Okay. Actually, we have no real needs for... <laughs> the portals. Since we have we have the tornado spell. Actually, there is one good reason to have them in case the tornado spell fails. Nothing failing as it doesn't. It fails to cast, but more in that it fails to actually destroy the thing. And yeah, they really don't want us to go this way. So that's all the more reason to go that way. The other one's empty. Okay. No skin of our back. Uh, what the? Really? The heck? The great race. Wait, is there one more race? I hope Wait, not. I, I think I'm starting to remember that there actually may be another race. But it's either that or th that's where you came from, where the great races were. It might be a random detail. Okay, let's see. Five. We're not close enough. I'm actually not seeing any defenses. Okay. <laughs> All the better for us. Um... I think that kind of comes from. Okay, why is the... Yeah, and why is the spell not showing? Let's let's get rid of this thing first then. There's 
There's not even a barracks here. <laughs> here comes one <laughs> little idiot, two little idiots, three little idiots. Uh, yeah, the <laughs> oh, <laughs> they're Sky Reapers <laughs> in more than one way now. <laughs> uh, bye bye. Okay, let's put that thing down here. Drop you off. Uh, there's no, re there's no need to go back in there again. Let's recharge the spell. Okay, I think I am remembering that there is one more race. Oh, no, oh, I, I thought I had it. <laughs> yeah, I thought I didn't have it selected for a moment. But yeah, we are completely unaffected by it. Luckily enough. And yeah, as you can see, it doesn't actually deal that much damage since we could just destroy that like that. The, this, the spell is it's balanced in that it's meant to destroy the enemy base and not much too much else. Okay, third time to charm. <laughs> no, the first one was worked as well. Let's see. Do we need to... I remember I being able to cast this um, here from this side. Okay, I... Now, I distinctly remember being able to cast the spell on the boat from the shoreline. Uh, okay, yeah. it is damaging it, and... There we go. I like to be very creative with the design to that boat. Yeah, that boat, I, I, I just contact that with the boat. I mainly can't take seriously. Mm, that should be it. That is it. Okay, one more race then. And there's that turret. <laughs> okay, the great Reaper Ski race. You made it to the Secret Palace, but hell, why not just win the final race just to add insult to injury? Lots and lots of injury. Okay, watch out for armed reaper guards firing you along the course. What do you expect when you're beating the home team and the crowd has machine guns? <laughs> <laughs> uh. Okay, at yeah, least we have less of these idiots to deal with. And now that I look and think, I think this is... Uh, yeah, we'll... We'll be building a base in this very same map in a bit. Uh, I th okay, I think there's supposed to be periodically like a sea monster going into that little area there. But I don't think I've ever been hit by it, if it does. Where's the next one? There's the next one. And the last next ones. Miss. Not a miss. Oh, yeah. oh I come. I'll miss it then. Okay, I, I almost I did almost get him there and Okay. <laughs> And yeah, here's the peanut gallery with the machine guns. There's, there's, there's something about the ocean noises in this level that still manages to unnerve me. How did that one count? Uh, I guess we just got close enough to the to the buoy for it to <laughs> sense us. 
said that Yeah, unnerve me. It, it makes it... It makes it sound like something giant is just uh, out of reach of grabbing you. Like, like there, I. That sounds makes me think like I, something just barely missed us there. Just like that one barely uh, <laughs> managed to pass us, not. There's just something, but maybe this game would also help play into my... Uh, you could probably call it... Oh, that kind of as a miss. We can't miss any more of them. Uh, this game probably played into why I am distrustful of the deep ocean. Uh, 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 you, could, you could probably call it a phobia. Though it isn't really a, f a fear of uh, water or anything. It's more like, um, yeah, what's hidden? yeah, what, more what could be hidden within, like just the not knowing, being unaware of stuff like that, being vulnerable from uh, to attack from any angle, basically. <laughs> yeah, I got to do that. It just, it just makes me paranoid as all hell. Yeah, it's also well... <laughs> that's also why I'll probably never stream Subnautica. Though, for one, I, I already know the entire story of that. Not the not the Frozen expansion slash standalone game. Though, I might look that up at some point. It's, there's a, that sound just makes it seem like there's something roaring just underneath the water or something. Yeah, it did. The more you say it, the more I see it and still on the game. I'm sure you know what you said there's a thing on Earth. And yeah, we already we've already sort of seen that there are sea monsters in this game with the spell. Yeah, you're quite great, but you want to go. Uh in the last stream we used that sea monster spell that basically launched a big ass attack at some place. Yeah, that's that I remember, but you know the actual sea monster that comes by or something there? I, I don't know if there is actually anything moving around in here, and if it does, then we're going too fast. Then we're going too fast to find it. Like, if it does go in and out of that little cove periodically, then we're then I've always been out of sync with it showing up there. And okay, we know where the vimps are. <laughs> Instead, focus on finishing the race for the moment, uh, yeah. uh, without missing another buoy, because then we'd have to do this all over again. And yeah, just for show, I'll use that sea monster spell again to have it show up on the horizon. Yeah, I remember sea monster attack, and you have to without my ball Final bits. Yeah, I'll, I'll probably put in uh, markers for where these 
ready to race is end because there is basically nothing really happening. And there we go. Sappho's palace, gather smarties, wimp souls, build a base, destroy barracks with spell. And yeah, the same as always. Only this time we are vulnerable from attack from three different er uh, yeah, directions. Uh, okay. Uh. Yeah, you're a wimp, not a mountain cat. Okay, and the last one. If memory serves. Nope. Okay, where is the first Moiny village then? Oh. Over here. Come along. But, uh, yeah, we basically. Oh. Did something just vanish there? On four. Well, yeah, for each of these bays, oh, we missed one. For each of these base missions, we only really need three smarties because some, <clears throat> because some object, some of the buildings have a. Uh, Oh no, just, they just respond. Have a, a minimum of three smarties that need to work on it to get it started. And the rest is just extra. Alright. Four bones. Fine. Okay. Also, this is just a comp this is just a copy of Yan's little tower. Uh Painting included, though I have no idea who that might be. Yeah, I know I've seen the painting before. I just don't know what who it's supposed to be and the name of it. Yep, no souls. But there many people who I know what you will see in many movies about tools and such, but only very few of them are mentioned by name. Yeah, typically. Characters like that are brought in because people are assumed you know, to recognize them. Yeah, the more of that is very obvious for they. That one is mentioned by name a lot. There's that sound again. Like the hell? Or wait, is that supposed to be the volcano making noises? Then why the hell was that noise coming? Why the hell was that noise coming out on the middle of the ocean? You know, the audio mixing in this game is a bit off in places. Like, you've probably noticed, like, an audio, like, a delay here and there. But I, I'm probably used to know, uh, uh, ignore that with the noise from the game. Okay. Uh, immediately put up those walls. I saw another group somewhere. Oh. And they're probably going the long way around at the moment. Oh, 
out of that ammo. Oh, hello. Thank you for offering your soul. I do have to wonder a bit uh, what it says about the Sea Reaper guards that they have a soul on the same level <laughs> as a piece as a piece of cattle. Yeah, they'd probably be very insulted by that. Um, that Vimp is working against the, <laughs> the old rock wall. something <laughs> Hold on. I believe someone is in is actually trying to remake this game in on in the modern Unreal engine as a hobby Ooh. and there was an attempt at another at a, another spiritual sequel of this, this game uh, on Kickstarter but the funding for that didn't make it it didn't get the, the funding goal so yeah, they sadly cancelled that. Personally, I hope they'll they'll try it again another time. But, yeah, I think so. And yeah, of course it wasn't called Giants 2 or something. Okay, another lucky headshot. But yeah, the gameplay was pretty much the same from what they were planning. Another one. Yeah, I'm <laughs> getting all the headshots. Okay. Yeah, don't get into your head now. Uh, yeah, all of these are accidental at best. Yeah, okay. uh, that and my pawn was accidental as well. Okay, I get the feeling something is probably attacking right now. Big bounce! <laughs> I don't expect you to just not eating through the wall there. Okay. Either they are taking their sweet time or I accidentally intercepted them all. Oh, no, there they are. And here they go. Okay, that's the first time that I've heard that. I, I've never heard that sort of line. Uh, I've played through this game multiple times, and I've, I've never heard an we're under attack line. Maybe that was added in by fans in the 1.5 patch? It could be in the I don't know how... I don't know how many messages come out and many get the... Many come out and they have hidden files of the unused data. Could be, yeah. I, I can't really tell... <laughs> I can't really tell if it was Delphi's voice... Or not. I... I, I just didn't expect it at all. Oh, and apparently this thing is called the per the persuader. What? Yeah, it, the name pops up when I hover the cursor over it. Yeah, th that I get. But like, why is it named that? Hmm. Oh, almost jumped into that. Uh, no attacks. No, oh, hold on. That. That's a win. Oh, <laughs> I saw. I saw. I saw a, a Reaper guard along the side, but <clears throat> no, there was a wheelbarrow that I saw over there. And you are too far away from the mines. I, 
why is the sound here as well? It, maybe it's not uh, an ocean sound or not meant to be. Uh, maybe it's like a you know, volcanic activity sound or something because this is supposed to be a volcano, to my knowledge. Yeah, no, it is also. Might be wind? Wait, is that not. Hmm. It could as well be, yeah. I'd, I'd have to dig into the files to see if it has any specific name or something, and I don't really fill up like that to that. I can already see groups of four coming in. So can we find any more smarties? There's none here. Like I said, we don't re really need more Smarties, but it it would speed things up a bit. Nope, we need, we need to go. Oh, <laughs> hello there. <laughs> Just the timing. I ask where they are, and there they are. I am one of your plenty for your life. And hello, fun. Okay. Pull this place up. Drop you off and get healed quick. Uh, let's drop those flares and just get mines. That'll be a lot more useful. What the heck of players you for? Yeah, uh, Sam sites. Ah, all right, all right. Like we we use them with the uh, Max as well, and okay, did they not finish that one? Uh, two of you instead upgrade the workshop, or not the workshop, this this shop. Oop. Hello there. Knock knock. That was a mistake. I thought I had the teleport spell equipped there. And yeah, that, it's basically a short range teleport, though. Yeah, it also summons a few clones to distract. Or not really clones, mirror images. Okay, fill this up. That's done. Shield generator, quick. Any incoming attacks? It <laughs> works a lot better if I stay up there, of course. Ah, there they are. And they're already done with that, so I might as well send them to get to work on the walls now. Plenty of food, probably enough to finish everything up. Another one willing to offer the stone. Uh, yeah, things are f things are faster with four smarties, and you're echoing a bit on my end. Or, well, your your mic is picking up with the speakers. Uh, some parts there I can hear myself over your speakers. Okay, uh, even though I have you to speak away quite a bit. 
As I was saying, it is faster to have four smarties because then you can work on two things at a time when something doesn't require three of them. Yeah, thanks, Dan. Okay, where are you going? Oh, you're, you're just getting an angle. Yeah. Now, now I am really cur curious how uh, the Rippers would look in Unreal, in the Unreal Engine 4. Uh, they could be made to look absolutely terrifying. Oh, wait, you're both terrifying with only the pie. I think there's a new one. Mm. I'm trying to think of what that's... Uh, yeah, with that Kickstarter, uh, Planet Moon Studios after this game and the... Uh, sort of sequel in spirit but not really uh, armed and dangerous which is also on the list to be streamed uh, soon uh, after that they basically never made another good game they were relegated to well basically making ports and shovelware which they really did not deserve it, but it probably ended up like that because these games probably didn't sell too well. This is a shame, but the easy common is that is true in them. Okay, that one is going to finish that up, I think. But yeah, some of I think at some point they were dissolved as well. I think I'm pretty sure they don't exist anymore. We could actually go look it up. But some of the people who worked at Planet Moon, uh, they made a new company called Rogue Rocket Games. And yeah, it's with that that they set up that Kickstarter that failed, sadly. And yeah, they've a bit ironically been uh, relegated to the same fate as Planet Moon in that all the other work that they've done, I think, has just been ports and you know, minor st mobile stuff. So, yeah, a bit of tragic irony. But yeah, let, let's give a little look whilst the Smarties finish this thing up. Let's see. Planet Moon Studios. Okay, let's see. Afterburner Battle of the Bands. Tangled the video game. Infected smarty pants. Okay. Let's have a little look. Okay. Set them to work on their pub. So that uh, founded in San Francisco in 97. Giant Sikibuto, armed and dangerous. Yeah, actually, there's no real need for us to set up any defenses. So... Uh, let's get rid of those spells. Pick up that one. Move the time spell to there. And teleport there. Uh, time spell there. Oh, I did say we'd use this one again. Just to show. And... We have some volunteers incoming. I mean... Oh dear. Okay, I can't use it that far away, so we'll have to use the volunteers on the other side here. Uh, you <laughs> it's obscured by the <laughs> by the hill there. Ooh. Uh, oh <laughs> Okay, uh, oh come on. <laughs> and the Reaper guards yes. survived. Uh. <laughs> Luckily, though, again, all of this stays. We only need to get one Smarty. Uh, actually, we don't even need that, I think. 
<laughs> but <laughs> oh, that, that was uh, unexpected. Yeah. Okay, it is a good spell. But you know what the heck you need to be careful. Uh, let's see. Teleport, cloak. And then slow so, time. I am happy that it's an animation to now keep just picking out the time on. But <laughs> there was just I just did not expect that in the absolute slightest that it Well we've known that this game has uh, self damage. Even if only a little, I think. Wait, it's not damaging myself here. But yeah, with explosives and such, at the very least, we've been able to hurt ourselves. So, I guess we should have expected that. Okay, cast a spell. And there we go. Now we just need the game to register it for a moment. And there we go. The hunt for Sappho. Find Sappho's secret volcano lair. And if my memory serves me right, this is the second last of Delphi's missions. Can't even really call it a mission. Ah, Sherry. So nice of you to visit your poor old mother. I am ready for you now. I shall destroy you! Hello! I shall use your life force to create a more well behaved daughter. What are you doing? By taking my life, we shall become greater. Actually, we won't. What? We won't become greater. It's all right. I know what I'm doing. Wait! It's all about honor, you see. Who is this moron? This is Yan, the samurai smarty. Ah, we. I've heard of you, Yan. He has taught me everything I know. <laughs> Yan! Don't kill yourself. We need you. Uh, but I must. Look, you can kill yourself later, okay? Just, just stay there for the time being. All right. <laughs> well, like I said, Yan is an idiot. Uh, uh, yeah, Volcano Rendezvous. Kill Sappho, Delphi's mom is evil, fast as she tosses nasty destructive spells at you with relentless fury. As moms go, she's not all that bad. Um. Uh, yeah, <laughs> Del Sappho is the boss here. And yeah, she basically plays like any of the normal breaks. And it's in that she will jump around a hell of a lot and firing spells left and right at us. Uh, let's see if we can catch her in a time bubble. Yep. Yep, come on! <laughs> I think she heard me. Okay, there we go. Yeah, only in this really. In the cinematics, she is equally as tall, I think. And there we go. Wait, what the? <laughs> Okay, so she somehow teleported away and immediately shot my eyes up. Oh, yeah. Right, yeah, she's basically a normal Reaper mage with a different skin. And okay, there she is using the teleport spell. Where did you go? Where did you go? There did you go, Cotton Eye Joe. Uh. 
strength to take it away. Her mother defeated and Kabuto's turn in hand, Delphi finally meets up with the others at the secret Smarty hideaway. The battle appears to be over. Yeah, this is where the things Come really on, right? oh. dead. Now, let's get our asses off to planet Majorca. Wait, it's not over. As for me, love. Kabuto has been unleashed on all the Smarty villages. He is now free from the spell of the Kabuto stone. Please, you must stay. This island is the gateway to hundreds of other smarty villages. You must protect them. Elfie, don't worry. As long as we're together. Baz, now that I have a piece of the Kabuto stone, there is something I must do. But I must be my love. That's it. We're staying. What boards to that? We are staying, and that's in order. Look, this is going to be a very difficult job, and the only way to get through it is if we all work together as a team. And that means you do everything I say. You got it? Come on, where's your sense of honor, lads? Would you really feel comfortable heading off to planet Majorca and leaving the Smarties defenseless? We've got to help Delphi. Yes, she may look different from us, maybe slightly taller and a different color, but I... Love her. You hear me? I love this woman. She says not to be frightened, Baz, for the Kabuto stone has transformed her. Uh, she must find Kabuto. She will then call for you. Oh, yes, indeed. She says, you must now all run into oncoming traffic with your genitalia exposed. <laughs> Wait, well, Yan is wrong. She says, you must protect this base while she is away, building up her strength. Delphi, please come back safe. Oh, it's gonna be the sickest thing I've ever seen. So that <laughs> <laughs> and of course, poor Joyce runs away to go in running traffic. Uh. <laughs> uh. And yeah, sadly, I have to say that that is the last cinematic until we get to the absolute end of the game. <laughs> I'm crying <Wait>. a bit. <laughs> <We're>, uh, 
Uh, it's uh, a lot to process, ain't it? Yeah. Uh, so if, if, if he's rather like beam with cheese in how quickly it goes. Uh, yeah. I, the feeling I have with this game is that they, they were working on this game for three years. Yeah, they founded Planet Moon in 97, as we just re read. This game came out in 2000. Uh, so yeah, they had to work three years on this. But I'm guessing that by the time they got halfway through Delphi's campaign, that they started to run low on funds. Yeah, it cannot, you cannot notice there were much more things going on in the beginning. Yeah, and... Uh, the uh, visual upgrade that Baz got with that uh, ring around his middle that did not go, <laughs> that did not agree with the animations in there. Yeah, it's a bit weird. Uh, but yeah, one last thing on Planet Moon is the last game they released was actually in 2010. And that, that was uh, Tangled, the video game for DS and Wii. It, it's been over... It's been... More, okay, I've forgotten that Tangled is that old. Well, hey, yeah, that's kind of true. And I forgot... The, I think I forgot there were some paper commercials about that. Oh, yeah, oh it, this is so... It speak, it speaks so much here on the side with Wikipedia. Uh, it oh. says products, and it only mentions giants and armed and dangerous. Like, that's the only two achievements to their name, and it's the first two games that they released. The rest, uh, the junk, probably. Sadly. Da, 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 da. In January 2010, Big Point Gaming acquired the Planet Moon Studio staff. Uh, did not acquire the company, its intellectual properties, or its other assets. Shortly thereafter, Planet Moon Studios closed its doors. So technically, they still had, they still own the IPs to our, well, Giants and Armed and Dangerous, or maybe they've land, those two have landed in public domain. Uh, it, it doesn't mention Red Rocket Game here, though. Uh, but one final little bit here at the start. The founding members uh, were then known as the team behind the hit game, MDK. And that one that? may not be as known, but its sequel, MDK2, by Bioware, that one's a lot more known. And yes, we're getting to that game in time as well. Uh, what was the game called again? MDK. What it stands for, nobody really knows, or they've never really said. People have speculated that it stands for Murder, Death, Kill, uh, which sounds a lot worse than it actually is, because it's a, it's a comedy game as well. What Another thing that people think it stands for is Max, Doc, and Kurt, which are the three main characters in the games. Ah. I'm surprised I've never heard of it. Uh, well, <laughs> then we'll get a, an all the better reaction out of you when we do play it, because then it will be fully genuine. He's gonna <laughs> try to, you're going to try to keep me with another game, aren't you? <laughs> I think the game will do enough of that on its own. This is uh, proving my point. <laughs> But yeah, enough of us talking. Let's finish at least this first mission and maybe finish this game in the next stream. Uh, if we don't, then maybe we will convert Saturday Sideshow into a main game stream just to finish this off. Because for as much as I'll, as much as I'll might bitch and moan about this uh, campaign, uh, there is something about the uh, last part that I really do like. And I think I've once again only seen like once or twice in other games. But yeah, let's continue on. Attack of the Evil Smarties. Hunt for the evil Smarties that have taken over the friendly Smarty villages. Eat enough of them and you'll grow. 
Once you've grown, destroy the wood gate and wooden gate to get to the other side of the island. Once you grab a creature, you can eat it to regain lost health. The evil smarties will run and hide in their houses as soon <clears throat> as soon as they see you. When this happens, crack those babies open and grab the rich tasty treasure inside. Um. Is oh, oh, and by the way, when I go into first-person mode, okay, not at this side. At least, and yeah, that that's an evil smarty over there. And yeah, this entire campaign will be melee focused. Oh dear. He went into this one. Uh, we. <clears throat> we are we might be a, a big ass monster, but we are still vulnerable. Uh, ah, there we go. We we sprint by space, okay. Uh, yeah, we have a new little we have a new little bar next to the health. That's just basically the food meter. Uh yeah, when we eat an evil smarty, that'll start to fill up. Once it is full, it will grow and get stronger. So, let's see. We do have the map to help with this. Uh, yeah, a lot of this will be just walking around as well. Because we need the turbo to sprint. But luckily enough, we can just eat it near everything that comes at us. Thank you. Uh, you were saying? Even those missiles can eat them. Uh, we, there is... Oh, they missed. Uh, hello? Uh, wait, was your name literally hello? Uh, oh, come on. Could you get any more uh, obvious with the... Uh, <laughs> they, they have fucking fangs. And uh, yeah, that little thing over on Kabuto's abdomen, where we've seen it on the Kabuto offspring back in the Macarian campaign, uh, that's the weak spot. And for some stupid biological reason, whenever we get close to something, that will open up. Or it should, at least. Uh... That is weird. But it could make sense if you supposed to use it as an attack uh, manner, like shooting a laser or something. But it doesn't do anything like that, they just open it up at a weak point. So, why? Yeah, there is one little advantage to it though, and that, well, we, we caught one of those rockets in our ass there, I think. And that is, we should, at range, we should be invulnerable. For a while, at least. Oh dear. Oh, he was yeah. And yeah, the camera angle is a bit awkward, just over the, over the neck like this. <laughs> okay, we caught him in the middle of his falling animation. <laughs> There we go. Uh, I'm not sure if we need to grow a second time to destroy the gate, but we might as well try. Also, we should avoid the water. Uh, okay, if we fall in that, we're not coming out. Plain as simple as that. Okay, come on down from there. Almost got you in midair. And you are just accepting your fate. Oh yeah, if we go into too deep water, then the piranhas will start harassing us again. And that would probably be mo the, be the most pathetic way that a kaiju like Kabuto could die. Like, nibbled apart by piranhas of all things. It feels kind of ironic or something. Yeah, David and Goliath. Or in this case, uh, a thousand Gol Davids versus one Kabuto. <laughs> okay, they're over there. 
There's a little harasser asshole over there. <laughs> yeah, as you can see, we can we can haul ass when we do get the sprints. Here. And there you go. Yeah, of course we can throw it in. <laughs> Yeah, it, it's <clears throat> there will still be a bit more gameplay features being added so enable him up uh, because some things will unlock as we grow uh, now one of these houses probably holds the smarty I didn't see any of them outside did you two catch I said cats, <laughs> duck. <laughs> Go. <laughs> oh. Okay, just for that. <laughs> yeah, sadly, fall damage doesn't really seem to be a thing with Sea Reapers, I think. <laughs> Nothing in depth. Stone Kinder Egg. There you are. Okay, one more and we should be done. Now just a little experiment here. Come on, shoot me. Yeah, no damage there, as you can see. I wish we could get closer, though. That's did damage us, even if only a little. But, yeah, of course we'll be going to face a lot stronger enemies and a lot more as we continue on with this. I'm going to risk some uh, mental health from all this. Uh, yeah. Uh, anyways, to expl explain a bit of this, um, yeah, some of the background of this game in the manual, back one, well, the background was given in the manual, is that it's not known when or why Kabuto showed up. It was just that supposedly he was just there one day with 001 tattooed on his ass. And yeah, the Sea Reapers gained control over him with that Kabuto stone. But I'm not sure if they... I don't remember fully if they created him or not. Uh, actually, I think I might need to lower the... Now that I see, look over here to OBS, the game is being rather loud compared to us, I think. I hope that hasn't been drowning us out too much and... Come on, where is I wouldn't that? be surprised if it has been. It has been hard to uh, hear you sometimes due to the game. Okay. And probably vice versa too. It's holding my mouse hostage again. And... Okay, we'll just have to keep it. Okay, yeah, that is. Okay, this. I'm pretty sure I lowered the volume actually. Uh compared to the last time we streamed this. Okay, I didn't know you could pick up the freaking trees. Apparently it doesn't really seem to do anything though. But yeah, we are losing health quick. Okay, did it, did it... Away with that. Well, yeah, you can see how easily we could get overwhelmed. And, well, you've probably some noticed something else as well that we've been leaving all over the place. Ooh! Good drink. Uh. 
Missed me. I find you winging it. When you're throwing things, they just on landing we root themselves. Did it easy to get to have Okay, a so there is impact down. damage. There. Uh, yeah, this is probably going to be the loudest part of the game, so yeah, I'll have to reorganize or <clears throat> rebalance the audio again. <laughs> I just oh, there you are. Just running is putting the volume up to the same around the same level as us talking. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, before we could not damage this at all. And there we go, that's the first Kabuto mission done. And yeah, it just jumps into the next, the way out. Yeah, eat more of the little bastard evil smarties in order to grow. Da -da -da. Grow spirit, break through the stone gate, find the magical portal to exit this island. <clears throat> uh, yeah, this is where I'll call it. So, yeah, we can focus the next stream entirely on this campaign. Yeah, and it's getting late. Yeah. So... Uh, yeah, chat's been silent, so no one really to mention there. So instead, as always, thank you for watching, Rick here. Well, and commentating. Oh, you must <laughs> uh, yeah, as as much as I love this game, I will fully admit to its flaws that this last campaign, though fun in its own way, it just lacks the humor and the cutscenes. <clears throat> yeah. So, but, yeah, we'll come back to this in two days. Maybe finish it up. If needed, we'll go a bit longer. And if we don't, then we'll finish it up on Saturday. And, yeah, after that, works must die too. We should, run we should probably take a day soon to double check uh, that it works and how we make the multiplayer work and all that uh, it should because it, it i think it's supposed to run at on the multiplayer on the uh, the basic of it because i think the game is balanced for two players oh i, I mean more like joining part okay but yeah I'll, I'll have to note it down somewhere because i will forget at some point actually i could probably write everything down on the back of the poster on the <laughs> on my door uh, but yeah if I start when we're starting on a new game the day before the stream test it out yeah <laughs> they make me look a bit less like an amateur <laughs> that's for now with the menu I, there's just something I should I should yeah, I should rip the music from this bit out of the game and just put that on an mp3 player because there's some it's just nostalgic and calming for me yeah, it's kind of like, uh, quite a nice music yeah but uh, yeah for now until next time everyone but until then until then Is I still don't know why I make these hand movements <laughs> 
Wait, you're doing hand movements? Yeah. <laughs> You've never one. watched. Yeah, I can't really blame you for not watching these afterwards. But uh, yeah, I, later's 